So this video here is about the amazing species known as Calionyx metriatus or Central American Banded Gecko. Anyways, they're an eyelid gecko native to Costa Rica and Guatemala. If you didn't know, that's Central America, obviously. They're one of the bigger banded geckos, getting about anywhere between 4 to 7 inches. My guy's about 6 inches right now. So he's fairly decent. This is his enclosure. It's a 10 gallon. It's pretty basic. It has a humid hide, warm hide, water dish, calcium dish. Now he's there. A 10 gallon would suffice, but I mean, you could go smaller. Like you could do a 7.5 gallon, maybe a 12 by 12, which is what I originally had him in, but you know, I upgraded him. They need humidity anywhere between 60 to 90 percent humidity since they are from Central America and it does get pretty humid down there he's not he's not cooperating with me cooperate please I beg of you their the temperature in their tank should be anywhere between like 70 to 80 degrees with their warm side being about 88 to 90 degrees similar to leopard gecko in that sense their food can consist of Small dubais, small crickets, small mealworms if they'll eat it. Calcium worms if you want to feed that. Wax worms if they'll eat it, but wax worms are enough treats. There's, multi, there's a few different species of banded gecko. There's Calionyx variegatus, which is the western banded gecko. Calionyx elegans, which is the Yucatan banded gecko. Calionyx metriatus, of course, which is what Ragnarok is. By the way, this is Ragnarok. Ragnarok's not very good at handling. I'm just doing it for this video. Sorry, my mans. I can actually put you up. I have a UVB bulb here just to help him. He doesn't, they don't need UVB since they are nocturnal, but it does help them. Can you not be a pain? Please, I'm begging you. Can you like you not be a pain? Just let me. Of course. Gone wrong, gone sexual, gone everything possible. Well, anyways, that was fun. It's a 10 out of 10 part of video. He always does that when handling, always has to be a pain. But yeah, I, I keep his enclosure humid with a Ecoterra Monsoon. Just have his spring every two hours for eight seconds. back into his little hide. Mine prefers to hunt. He doesn't really like eating out of a bowl. It's not his forte. He'd rather just hunt around on his own, which, so I just like crickets and dubais when we're on his tank during feeding day, then take them out like a day or two later. Not really much you can say about these guys other than they're, that's, that's about him at full size. They don't get their tails don't get don't get really that fat. I mean, some do, but the western banded gecko is native to like North America. They're all native to North America, but in like United States, Arizona area, he's native. To, I've already said that Yucatan's native to obviously Yucatan and a few other areas. Sneak peek of Ymir just chilling. Look at that tail. It's orange. Not really much you can say about these guys except, yeah, they're pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Not really sure what else to put in this video. Oh, yeah, I use a heat mat to keep his temps warm. You can use a ceramic heat emitter if you want. I mean, it would destroy humidity, of course, making you have to miss more. But you could do it. They are nocturnal, so if you do supply UVB, make sure it's like similar to leopard gecko, leopard gecko, two to five percent, preferably two percent, just so that it adds like a day and night cycle. But it can help with UVB. All their food should be dusted like normal. I feed my guy on a summer feeding schedule to my leopard gecko since he's fully grown, so I feed him every Wednesday and Sunday. Then I and he does gain weight, so I mean. I'm guessing that it's not bad. He has pure calcium and a calcium dish right there. Because he's a good boy, doesn't poop in it. While also... I dust 
with since I use UVB on a dust with his first feeding he has calcium D3 the next two feedings he has calcium like just pure calcium then the fourth he has multivitamins oh my gosh Ymir just yawned that has nothing to do with this but Ymir just yawned <laughs> wish I could have got it on camera but anyway for a normal person for a fully grown banded gecko, you'd probably want to dust two or three feedings of calcium D3, then the fourth with multivitamins. You know, having like a four part schedule of calcium to multivitamins. I probably can't get him eating. I can't even see where he is in there. I can see his little tail, and that's about it. Yeah, no, it's too dark in there to see him. Anyways. I think that would be the end of this video. This, so yeah, this a uh, 10 gallon tank is pretty much optimal for a single bandy gecko. They can't really be cohabit since they're similar to other Isla geckos where they would just, you know, kill each other. Yay! It's fun days, the best days. End of video. Re